Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I've got a cute project for you that's really very simple but looks really effective. And it's these little moth bookmarks. Now you can use them as a bookmark. They simply have a triangle of card on the back, so you slip it over the pages of your book. Or you can just use them as general home deck projects. Put a little flurry of moths on a plain wall, and it's a brilliant project for using up all those odd scraps of pattern paper that you've got from your card making and scrapbooking projects. So to begin with, you need a piece of plain card that's five centimetres by 10 centimetres. Pop it on a gridded cutting mat if you have one, and then just use a ball ended tool to score a line at 45 degrees from the top center out to the bottom corners. Crease along that line to make your triangle. If you're a perfectionist, you then want to um, just trim up where you've scored it in the wrong place so it's not perfect. And that's your base. Now don't worry about this bit being open because what we then do is, I'll have some templates in the description below for you. We have lower wings, upper wings and a body. So let's have the lower wings in this cardstock. And I've found the easiest way to do this is if you roughly cut your piece of paper to the size of the wings. And if it's got a symmetrical design on it, it's really nice to make those wings symmetrical. So fold it where it's symmetrical. Fold your template in half. Just draw around it, lining up the two folds and cut out with a pair of scissors. And doing it this way is so much easier because you then haven't got to angle those scissors to get into the indentation. Fold it out the other way. Pop a little bit of glue on the wings. And line them up with the top point of your triangle. So we'll do exactly the same for the lower wings. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of foam pads just under the ends of the wings so they raise up slightly and we'll glue the top so that still lays flat and we'll pop them on the top there and then we'll have quite a bold pattern for the top set of wings and as I say this is a really nice way to use up scraps of patterned paper cardstock. Quite often, I mean, I don't know about you, if I do a project, you tend to use the same collection so that everything is a bit matchy-matchy. But with this, it doesn't seem to matter what combination of papers you use, especially if you're making these en masse, it does produce a really effective, colourful decoration. Now, when I put the top wings on, the head of my moth is going to stand slightly proud of the bookmark. And then the trickiest part of this will be the body. And I'm going to do the body in a completely different colour. And again, it's especially with something like this, because of the antennae and things like that, it's much easier to do it on a folded piece of card. Mm. 
and I've made the antennae deliberately stocky so they don't get too dog-eared if you throw your book in a corner or put it back in the bookcase without remembering that there's a bookmark sticking in it. And just paste the head and body. And pop it on the very top. And then pop your finger in it. And you've got an easily slip onable, if that's a word, bookmark to go on the corners of your book. So I hope you like them. Once, I mean, actually, you could use these, you could even use these as like little gift tag envelopes or write a message on the back and, and pin it to a present. But I'll make sure that there's templates in the description below so you can make your own. Enjoy your flurry of moths. Thank you for watching. Please keep safe. Please subscribe to us if you get the opportunity because um, we have new demonstrations coming up every week and there's something for everybody. There's paper crafting, there's sewing, there's crochet, there's all manner of stuff that I like to make and I hope you like it too. See you soon. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.